Hi, this is Paul again. I've got a new video to show you, and I'm calling this Fire Rays for Pineapple and Strawberry Geometry. Just over a couple of months ago, I put a video out showing a little spiral machine. Now, instead of rotating the vertex around golden ratio 137.5, I split it in two, and I got better results. It's amazing the system forms a polar array of five curved swirls. Now I put a bit of research into this and I found that by giving it polar arrays, I got amazing results. Now look what happens when I give it a five times 72 degrees array. Now each rotation of the balls form a perfect string. I showed more of this in one of my videos on YouTube. Now I did a little bit more research with this system and I started working on the pineapple. Now look at this pineapple, look at the geometry. Now one of them curves are given an array of 40. So we're really looking at 40 curved swirls. Now 5 into 40 goes 8 times. That gives us 4 pairs of different colors. I'm just showing red, yellow and purple. I'm not showing two cyan balls. I left them out when I was working on the hexagons. But you can see the yellow balls forming five curves very clearly. And the scholars teach us that the golden ratio can come out of five. And it basically starts with five and eight. And I think five and eight are the basic numbers for the Fibonacci golden ratio. Now what you're looking at in front are 18 rings. Now all these rings have different diameters to correspond to the surface of the pineapple. Now you can see that the distance between the 40 balls are determined by the diameter of each of these rings. You might ask where do these rings come from? Okay, let's start with the pineapple shape. Let's give it a rotational profile. Okay, now we've got the profile. Okay, now I'm going to divide that profile into 18 positions. The scholars will probably ask how I got to 18. I had to hopscotch between coincidences. Okay, I'm going to turn them balls into smaller dots. And then I'm going to give it a 40 array. Okay, we don't need them 40 curves, just the dots. Okay, now you have to put colored balls in the pattern that I show. Now we end up with six balls on 18 rings and they form a swirl from top to bottom. Okay, now I'm going to rotate five copies around 360 degrees and see what we've got. Okay, now you can see we got five copies and we have a gap between the five. Now this gap could have been filled up with cyan balls, but I used this gap to figure out how the hexagons go. Okay, we'll give it a spin around and you can see how the swirls are going in a perfect fashion. Now you can see that these swirls are just like veins on a person's legs or arms going around. But my last video on YouTube I never got any interest from the scholars. It looks like chaos is accepted a million to one. Okay, I've showed you the pineapple. Let's have a look at the strawberry. So our first job is to do a rotational profile. Now I'm going to divide this into 15 sections. And the 15 came again from hopscotch in between coincidences. Okay, now I'm going to give it a 40 array, the same as the pineapple. Now for this next step, I'm going to change the strawberry color to green because I want to show up the colors. Now you need to put the balls in the pattern that I show. Now I'm going to give a NURBS curve through the centers of all the red balls that I show. Okay, now I'm going to copy rotate that NURBS curve. The first copy 72 degrees and the second copy 36 degrees. Okay, the next step is to change the colors of some of them balls as I show. 
I've arranged 40 white balls in this pattern. Now you can see that I'm not going to the very top because the seas don't seem to go to the very top because that's where about 10 leaves appear. Okay, the next job is to copy and rotate this NURBS assembly another four times at 72 degrees. So that is going to give us 5 times 40. That's 200 seeds. Because the biologists say there's an average of 200 seeds on a strawberry. What beats me, the biologists study the perfect order coming in plants and the mathematicians department teaches chaos. It's obvious these guys need to get their act together. I think chaos starts in their system because I think one department contradicts the other. Okay, I'm going to change the color of the strawberry back to red and I'm going to give you a view of the top and the bottom. Thank you to take a look at these swirls. Now I'm calling them phi swirls because an array of 40 gives you five sets of eight and those are two Fibonacci numbers golden ratio now I'm just showing two examples of this discovery but I think it needs a lot more research because the angle of the swirls depend on the distance between the rings so this can easily be applied to the human anatomy arms and legs and stuff like that Okay, now I'll show you the body of the strawberry with the green leaves and you can see how the seeds are arranged. But I think the rings might need to be moved around a little bit to get it dead perfect. But anyways, I think the professional people can do a better job if they tried. I only do this for a hobby. So to all the guys that like my work, this is Paul saying thank you very much for watching my video.